last 15-20 minutes no? of the uh, regular time. Pero yung Brazil, wala na yung Brazil eh. Samba kasi sila ng samba-samba. Samba-samba dun sa laro sa Korea. Tuloy na ganyan sila. Sa kakasamba, wala na silang fuego para sa next game sa Croatia. Tuloy, tuloy. Ang tunay na GOAT. Greatest of all time, midfielder, Modric, Luka Modric, talaga was able to pull it off for Croatia. And grabe, akala natin nung nag-goal na si Neymar sa extra time, tapos nang usapan, pero yun pala, ayun pala, ayun pala mga kameta. By the way, uh, mukhang connection natin is not at best, hindi ko alam bakit, kanina pa ako. Siguro dahil na ng Netflix itong mga alaga natin dito. Anyway, uh, habang may connection pa tayo, at least uh, hopefully we can talk about more and more things. Uh, and more about World Cup hopefully next week as we get into the semi-finals, finals, and the important round. Ito na mga kameta, ito na, ito na. Yan ang parati natin sinisabi mga kameta. Oh, by the way, huh, mag-high muna naman tayo dyan. Hindi lang sa mga kamaharlika natin, pero sa mga ka-direct yap natin. Mga made in Malacanang Club. Kamusta kayo dyan? Talagang gandang-ganda talaga mga director nyo. Dyan, nilight-light yung meme natin. Na hindi naman ako gumawa niyan, na-repost ko lang yan. Meme yan from mga kaibigan natin, mga kapatid natin dyan sa TV5. E sabi ko talaga ma- matutrol ako sa meme na yan. Kasi naman, hindi naman gaya itsura ko sa TV ha. Ah. Hindi naman gaya itsura natin ha. Ah. Yung parang puffy na ganun. Tapos yung parang iba-iba kulay, wala na. Tuloy. Tinatrash talk na tayo ni Director Yap na ano yan. <laughs> na beauty ano tayo dyan. Na beauty bash tayo. Ni Direk Made in Malacanang Ang pinaka the best na director Pinaka can festival level na director Ayan na yung mga ibang alaga natin Ang hinap pa ng internet natin Ito, 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 ito Mamaya na tayong mag-aasaran Pag-usapan natin yan Dumating na yung kape natin <coughs> Low energy pa naman tayo Ito, ito mga kamay Ito, pag-usapan natin ito Ito, serious to ah Parati natin narinig sa mga iba dyan Yung mga kamaharlika Mga ka-unity Na Huwag na kayong ano dyan, umangal dyan. Sunod na lang kayo dyan. Just accept. Just huwag kayo nega, huwag kayo bitter, whatever. I mean, first of all, speaking of bitterness, ang weird is, misa para mas bitter pa yung mga iba dyan na dapat nga happy na sila, tapos na yung laban. Eh, diba? Nanala naman sila eh. Pero pag uh, mga okray, including sa beauty natin, ayan, napaka-bitter naman nila. Diba? Pero syempre, maganda si Direk. So wala tayong mga gawa dyan. Um... Balikan natin ito. No, no, I mean, we keep on hearing na uh, magpakabait kayo dyan, be nice, sunod na lang kayo sa gobyerno, huwag kayo nega dyan, wala kayo, huwag kayo hater, etc. Ako naman, my stance is very clear, no? There are times na you have to support the government, especially kung sound yung policy, may sensible naman yung sinasabi, may, may, may basihan, di ba? Pero kung wala naman basihan or problematic or hindi ito sang-ayon dun sa ating national interest among others, then syempre dapat mag, mag, magsalita yung taong bayan, di ba? Hindi naman pwede na tayimik lang tayo dyan at mangmang tayo dyan. So, natatawa tayo kasi sinisabi ng iba dyan, eh, mataas na approval ratings natin eh, dapat go na tayo nyan eh. Alam pa sa 80% approval ratings natin dyan. O, wag na kayo magsalita, may, uh, fa- may universal support na. But that's not, that's not how it works in a democracy, di ba? Sabi ko, oh, sige, pakita niyo yung October survey ng Octabayan or something na pinakita na 70-80% ay nag-approve sa uh, ating administration. Of course, in their honeymoon phase, surprise, surprise na mataas. O baka din yan lang pinapakita rin yung, mat- yung sobrang taas din ng disapproval dun sa management ng, for instance, economic issues like yung inflation problem. No? O eh, fact din yan. O bakit din yung sinisahid yung part ng survey niyan? Yung issue-based survey. Di ba? Di ba, mga kameta? 42% po ay nag-disapprove dun sa management ng inflation ng ating gobyerno earlier this 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 year. Ako naman, personally, of course, I feel na medyo unfair naman yung ibang attack sa Marcos administration because hindi naman nila kontrolado yung mga all of the factors that contribute to inflation, including declining uh, foreign exchange uh, rates uh, earlier this year, not to mention increasing prices of agricultural products, fertilizers, etc. due to yung crazy war ng ni Putin dyan sa Ukraine. Well, given yan, given yan, pero ang point ko is, napaka-selective naman yung mga ka-unity, ka- ka-marli ka natin dyan. Na gusto lang nila emphasize yung mataas approval, pero hindi nila sinicheck yung mga mga ba na approval sa specific issues. No? 
especially something that has to do with economics. And in fact, this issue ng inflation was the only majority urgent issue dun sa mga urgent issues na tinanong sa ating mga kababayan. So for me, that clearly shows that this government may have general favorability, a eh, honeymoon phase, ang taas ng share of votes na napanalo nila, ang dami pa nila natin mga made in Malacanang, mga ano, vloggers, vloggers dyan, na tumutulong naman dun sa image, creative communications, given yan. But, that doesn't mean a blank check, that doesn't mean a carte blanche, no? And, uh, more importantly, clearly, na feel din ni Paolo Marcos na that the, something has to be done with the economics. So, kung tignan naman si Marcos Jr., si Paolo Marcos Jr. himself said that inflation is out of control. No? Siya mismo nagsabi, nung lumabas yung latest number na 8% yung inflation natin. O, hindi tayo nagsabi yan. Si Paolo Marcos mismo nagsabi yan. So, there's a recognition from no less than the government itself that on the economic front, they have to do more. And it just happens that the economic front, mga meta, the economic front, is also exactly where, no, President Marcos Jr. has staked his legacy, his policy commitments. It's, it's kind of like an economy-first kind of approach uh, to, to governance and his presidency. And if fucking sinabi natin mga kameta dun sa isang uh, op-ed natin earlier this year, uh, I think sinabi natin, eh, si Paolo Marcos mismo ay aminado na the inflation situation is out of control. Now, this is important in light of the fact that you had the 42% disapproval of the management of inflation. Of, of the president earlier this year when the inflation rate was even lower, mga kameta, was even lower back then. So obviously, there is some worry siguro inside that something has to be done about this and that we have to project competency. Ito, ito yung sinasabi natin, mga kameta, di ba? Oh, 42% yung disapproval at si Paolo mismo ang nag-recognize na the inflation situation is a little bit tricky, di ba? Oh, tingnan niyo na. O, oh, andyan niya, no? resibo niyan. Wala, wala akong sinasabi dyan. Tingnan lang natin dyan. Oh, salamat kay Mother dito sa airmats natin dahil sa pakape natin. So, ang sinasabi natin mga kameta dito is clearly there's a recognition that people care a lot about economics, especially inflation, and that may negative perception pagdating sa management ng economy. And si Pangulong Marcos mismo nagsabi, the inflation situation is problematic. Again, ha, to be fair, hindi naman kasaya ni Marcos lahat yan. Di ba? Maraming factors na contribute. But of course, there's an expectation the government does something about it. Kaya para sa akin, siguro naman itong maharlika maharlika na yan was one way by the administration or the allies of the administration to say hands-on pa rin kami. Right? To say that we're still doing something. To say